Hello again, folks, and welcome to a new Let's Play. This is Kingdom Hearts Final Mix 1.5. Now, what does that mean? It means that this is a remaster of the original PlayStation 2 game from 2003, 2004, something like that. Now, full disclosure, uh, I had actually recorded fairly far into the OG PlayStation 2 version of Kingdom Hearts. And I looked at the quality of it, and I was like, yeah, that remaster, as much as I hate the controls of it, it looks so much better. And I had gotten far, far into the game. So I really hope that you all appreciate me deciding to replay it all over again. Now, there's a lot of differences between the PlayStation 2 and the, play and the 1.5 remix, as well as the... 2.5 remix. Uh, first off, the controls. The controls differ in that uh, the PlayStation 2 allows you to not only use the D-pad, but the right analog stick in order to go through your command menu. And honestly, that works fine. You use the R2 and L2 buttons to move the camera around, and it works perfectly fine for what it is. Uh, in this, the right analog stick becomes the camera, which means that you can only control the uh, command menu using the d-pad now they do make it so as you can use the triangle button to use you know certain commands like talking and activating and all that fun stuff as well but I feel like personally uh, it might just be me not being able to get used to the controls but also just I don't know it, it feels clunky to me but I'm willing to actually give it a go now that said there's all other things that are different that are changed between the different versions. 1.5 Remix has three different d difficulties. Uh, one of the one of which is the beginner mode, gives you some rare items to start the game. Balanced mode, which is good for first timers. I've not played in like 10 years, and even then, I've only beaten the game like 2.75 times. Uh, so I might be going with the final mix. And then there's Proud Mode, which is difficult. Stupid difficult. I actually had originally, originally started recording this with Proud Mode activated. And let me tell you, no. <laughs> it's like, you know what? Kudos to those of you that love the challenge and can beat this in Proud Mode. But no. Now, Proud Mode also comes with another thing that you can do called XP Zero. Now, for those that love the extreme difficulty, this means that you do not level up. You have to activate it as soon as possible, otherwise Goofy is going to level up. But otherwise, you're level one through the entire game. And uh, no, I, I like to have fun in my game, so I'm just going to go with Final Mix. I am going to... Probably, regrettably, switch it to manual camera. Vibration on. Proceed. Also, this first song we're skipping. So much to do. A little time. Take your time. Don't be afraid. The door is still shut. Now step forward. Can you do it? Here's the left stick to move, tilt to slightly walk, and all the way to run. Ah, man. I don't care how many times it takes to get through this first section. It's always so nostalgic to me. Power sleeps within you, if you give it form, it will give you strength. Choose well. Yep, and this is pretty much going to dictate how the hell we're going to be playing through the entirety of the game. The first one that you select is the item that you receive the most strength in, um, so high strength, High defense and MP or HP rather, and 
stronger spells as well as more MP to cast those spells. Uh, there's some additional things, like you'll get different skills diff depending on which one that you select. And, um, y'all know me. The power of the warrior. Invincible courage. A sword of terrible destruction. Is this the power you seek? Your path is set. Now what will you give up in exchange? Yay. Gonna be a warrior. Now, this pretty much is going to dictate which of these stats is gonna be lower. HP and defense, and um, magic. I think you know what I'm gonna select if you've been on this channel long enough. Which by the way, one of the additional cool things uh, is that as we go through this entire tutorial sequence, I don't know if it's going to affect um, if it's going to affect the game itself necessarily, but as we go through the tutorial, the one that we selected for our strength is going to be the weapon that we use. So if you had selected the shield, you actually start bashing around things with a shield. If you selected the wand, then you start bashing things with a wand. It's a neat little touch I really do like. That's how let's get rid of the wand. The power of the mystic. Inner strength, a staff of wonder and ruin. You give up this power? Yep. You've chosen the power of the warrior. You've given up, given up the power of the mystic. Is this the form you choose? Yep. You've gained the power to fight. Press X to attack. Now there's one other additional thing uh, I had forgotten to mention and I don't think it applies to 1.5. Uh, see my problem with the command menu in this is that it's just clunkier to work with. But I think it's in 2.5 where you can hold down either the left or right uh, trigger buttons or R2 and L2 and go through the command menu like that and uh, Can't see if I can do that now because we only have the option to attack All right, you've got it Use this power to protect yourself and others Green gauge below displays your hit points or HP or health if you run out of HP You'll be taken to the continue screen the blue gauge shows your Eight, or your magic points, MP. Magic is still a mystery to you. There will be times you have to fight. Keep your light burning strong. Yeah. And it's going to tell us later, but L1 is the button we need in order to lock on. And we can combo shit. Gain experience points, EXP, by defeating enemies. With enough experience, you gain a level. Furthermore, defeated enemies sometimes leave items behind. You can take these items by walking up to them. Different items can do different things, like restore HP or MP. Behind you. Generally, you'll, you'll automatically target the nearest enemy, but you can lock onto a specific target by pressing R1. Lock on will appear in the upper left corner of the screen while you're locked on to the target. Locking on to a target limits the actions available to you, especially against other targets. Press R1 again to release the target lock. Bonk. It. I believe it's at this point um, it is the most optimum time to run away from these guys in order to activate the menu. Uh, let me see if I can't just... One dude. 
One little dude. See if I can't run away from him long enough. Actually, can I get him over to this very corner? There you go. I don't know if the orbs will always disappear. Eh. I'll go into it when I go into it. I can't access it. <laughs> uh, me trying to re be explanatory. This is the field icon. It pops up whenever a special command is available. Press triangle examine. Pop when pine. Bleh. When triangle examine pops up, you can press triangle to examine the object in front of you. I can't open it. Do, do, do. Nope, still not yet. Triangle in the command menu turns into various commands. Like opening chests. You can push large crates. Look, we're pushing a large crate. Just as the game suggests. You can also smash them. Sometimes deciding items yields items. Objects use items. Use items with the items command. You can take these items by walking up to them. Barrel. When lock on to objects as well as enemies while locked on, press L2 to switch your target, your focus between targets available. And with this, we can actually lift as well. Excellent shit. Yeah, it's going to take a while for me to get used to that. Hold on. The door won't open just yet. First, tell me more about yourself. Press the select button for first person view. You can use the left stick to look around. Press the select button again to return to standard view. Now this, I kind of don't understand why the hell they kept it in. Seeing as now we have the freedom of the right analog stick to look everywhere. Um, so I can't do that. Now this I actually never knew about until I started doing recordings for this, uh, for the Let's Play series. This is a bit of a personality quiz, as it were. We can talk to nearby people. What do you want out of life? So, the way that this works is that uh, from the top to the bottom, depending on your answer, you will receive uh, different, not boons, but different pacing through the game. How you level, how strong the enemy heartless it, enemy heartless and whatnot get, and uh, all that fun stuff. I, however, will remain to be relatively, you know, answeristic as truthfully as possible. What do I want out of life to broaden my horizons? To broaden your horizons, huh? Nothing wrong with that. What are you so afraid of? Shh, being indecisive. Being indecisive? Is that really so scary? Hell yeah, man. So goddamn scary, you don't even know it. What's most important to you? Ugh. Friendships. Is friendship such a big deal? You, of all people, within these three, should not be asking that. You want to broaden your horizons. You're over afraid of being indecisive. You want friendship. Your adventure begins at midday. Keep a steady pace and you'll come through fine. 
Sounds good. The day you will open the door is both far off and very near. Still can't. Whee! Press the start button to open a menu screen. In the menu main menu, you can do things like view your inventory, status, or configure your game settings. However, you can't open the menu during battle or tutorials. Ah, uh, man. See, in the PlayStation 2 version of this, I was actually going um, high defense with lower magic. So, it kind of feels good being able to three combo these guys. Even if it seems like such a easy target to do so to. I'll see if I can't. There it is. So, the menu. We have ourselves configuration, which saddens me that they don't have a method of changing to OG controls. Once we have selected our difficulty, it will not be changed. Like, I literally cannot change it. Which is fine. Because I don't want to. Auto lock on and all that fun stuff. Our status. HP. When that drops to zero, game over. You either load right into the next right into the room from where you died, or you can go to your last save. Max MP, that will charge up as you're hitting things, which is pretty neat. AP, ability points, will allow you to uh, get certain skills, which is pretty neat. Strength, how much damage you deal, that changes with the weapon that you are wielding. And defense, that can increase with levels and accessories. Now, again with experience points, the more you get, the better it is. Just straight up. You can customize abilities. Uh, if you had magic, we can assign them there. Abilities is the thing I was just talking about. We earned them through the game and leveling up. And again, based on what you selected in what sequence with the sword, shield, and scepter, uh, you get different abilities, which is pretty neat. Equipments. I really wish that you could keep the dream sword throughout the rest of the game. I don't know. I just like it. And these are the accessory slots. We'll get more of them as we play through the game. I think it is the uh, shield that if you select that as your primary, that will grant you the most amount of uh, slots for accessories. And items. As you collect them, you can give them to your characters to use from the item menu when you are in the midst of combat. We'll have other characters that can do the same thing, and we can look at the stock of our stuff. But for the time being, let's slack some evil. Hey, save point. This is a save point. Touch save points to recover HP and MP. Press triangle to open the save menu when save appears. Be sure to save your progress before quitting the game. It's a good idea to save often. If anything goes wrong, you can then load your save data and resume from there. Yeah, if that wasn't a hint hint nudge nudge. Hey, look at the place that I stopped playing this before, because I'm really sick of that area. Well, not that area necessarily, just the, just the boss fight that was there. And you can see, too, Final Mix, as opposed to Final Mix PR, which is proud mode. So, yeah, this should be fun, as opposed to the proud mode version. Proud mode makes it so as enemies not only have more HP, but a lot more damage, 
which can be a little bit screwy when you have like 20 heartless or 20 enemies trying to kill you. Just saying. The closer you get to light, the greater your shadow becomes. But don't be afraid. And don't forget. Ah, uh, heck. This is, uh, I think its name was Darkseid? Don't recall fully. Now, full disclosure, we could actually farm these little munchkins. For some experience as well. Uh, honestly though, that's not the best way to get experience points if you really want to grind for, the, for them in this fight. As he has a particular attack. Come on. Let it loose. There it is. Which, if you can time right. Ah, come on. Why are you doing that on a handy? Ah, I want to get this right. Damn it. Not only just because it, you know, gets you more experience points, but because it looks cool. Now he's gonna do the thing where he summons murder this. I need to turn on the auto target. Oh no, it's already on. Never mind. And you will level up in the middle of battle, which is convenient. Do 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 do. Give me these. <coughs> Come on. Oh, maybe I have to. Lock on to something else. Or just not lock on at all. Come on. Do the thing. He's not that big of an intimidating boss, but man. When you're like... There it is. When you're like... 13, 15 or whatnot. This dude is massive and scary. But yeah, you can deflect attacks and you can also do elemental based damage, which will make it so as you get some more experience points. Now, even as a kid, I really liked uh, the idea of simply abusing that and getting as many experience points as I can, but he will eventually die. Don't be afraid. You hold the mightiest weapon of all. So don't forget. You are the one who will open the door. <laughs> Give me a break, Kyrie. So are you, lazy bum. I knew that I'd find you snoozing down here. No, this huge black thing swallowed me up. I couldn't breathe, I couldn't... Ow! 
Are you still dreaming? It wasn't a dream. Or was it? I don't know. What was that place? So bizarre. Yes, yeah, sure. Say, Kyrie, what was your hometown like? You know, where you grew up? I've told you before. I don't remember. Nothing at all? Nothing. You ever want to go back? Hmm, well, I'm happy here. Really? But you know, I wouldn't mind going to see it. I'd like to see it too. Along with any other worlds out there. I want to see them all. So what are we waiting for? Hey, aren't you guys forgetting about me? So, I guess I'm the only one working on the raft. <laughs> and you're just as lazy as he is. <laughs> so you know this. Okay, we'll finish it together. I'll race you. Huh? What? Are you kidding? <laughs> Ready? Go! Ah oh man, the amount of nostalgia that is pumping through my veins right now. Hi. So, can you gather the rest of the supplies? So, are you listening to me? What was it again? Jeez. You can't build a raft without materials, right? Here's what we need. Two logs, one cloth, one rope. Bring everything back here. If you need help, just ask. No more slacking, okay? I suppose, too, one of the benefits of, um, one of the things that does change with the cameras is the fact that the camera isn't as reliant, or you're not, like, as reliant on the camera. Although it does have a little bit of a slow start once you've, you know, started rotating. That's where I was always, like, I prefer the camera to be... I don't know. Anyways, hey, Waka. What's happening, man? So we can actually uh, talk to these three. Hey, what's up? Selfie thinks she's in charge around here. What a drag. Riku's pretty good. I'm um, good at pretty much everything. Even you're no match for him. Yeah, just you wait. So great just hanging out around here. No parents to bug us. Yeah, this is always a little bit confused to me. Like, they've talked about this area. This island, like it's an entire world, but really, like just off the horizon or something on the other side of the island, there's like a continent or a mainland or whatever. Ah, uh, the breeze feels great. The breeze indeed feels great. What are you up to these days? We never see you. We've been busy. We and Kyrie sure are busy these days. I should send Tita some Waka to cat check up on you guys. We can come here on our own now. I'm all grown up. Good for you. Come on, tell me what you're planning. Actually, never mind. I'll find out on my own. Good for you. So, for those that are not Final Fantasy uh, know-it-alls and fans like myself, relatively speaking, that's Waka from Final Fantasy X. That's Selfie from Final Fantasy VIII. Which is a little bit funky considering some of the other characters that are in this game that are also from Final Fantasy VIII. And... Uh, Titus. Hey, Sora! You feel lucky today? Who is a little bit of a punk? Hey, Sora! Feeling up to a little competition? Not right now. You serious? Come on, be a man! Fuck you, I got a raft to build. Now, here's a fun thing. You can actually fight all three of those individuals. It can be really fun, and honestly is a little bit of a, um, 
Oh, that's the word I'm looking for. Really good at learning certain things about the combat system. Deflection, when to attack, what attacks will be able to counter what moves. Oh, good. I think I need to invert the camera when it comes to left and right. Because I keep on screwing up and pushing myself the wrong direction. One cloth. Now, full disclosure too, while I don't remember absolutely everything about my most recent playthrough, as a kid, that cloth was so hard to find. And it wasn't exactly like, oh hey, we were we're able to just go out and get a guide, because it was like 20 bucks. No way I was going to spend 20 bucks on a guide, I just wanted to play the damn, damn game. Let's see, that was two, two ropes, a log, and a smug son of a bitch. Did you get everything you need for the rask? I gave my stuff to Kyrie. Hey Sora, how about a quick round? Grab your sword. No time now. Okay, some other time. Now, I, I remembered, I remembered as I was uh, doing the PlayStation 2 recording just how much just how much I despise Riku in this. Not even just because he's smug. Ah, uh, well, I might get into it later. But I'm gonna go ahead and save. Call an episode here. When we return, Kingdom Hearts 1.5 Remix. Ah, uh, technically I've beaten the game like thrice at this point with a PlayStation 2 version that I had just up and deleted. I'm a fool. Thank you everyone so very much for watching. When we return, we got more of the Destiny Islands to deal with. I uh, hope you guys are going to enjoy this series as much as I'm hoping to enjoy it myself. If you guys like this series, remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. It really helps out the channel. If you want to assist the channel in a financial fashion, I do have coffee, stream elements, and a Patreon link down in the description below. Every little bit helps and is currently still going towards a move that my folks and I are going to make across the country because living in California is expensive. Every little bit helps and all of it is going towards that move from all those things I just listed, the YouTube stuff that I make off of ads, everything. So yeah, if you feel generous, want to contribute, you can do that there. Thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.